I've been saying it for a few years, ever since uh, he died in Iron Man or in uh, Avengers Endgame, folks. He ain't coming back. But now it's officially reported by Marvel. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. So, Marvel Studios producer confirms Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. no longer being on the table. Marvel Studios producer Stephen Broussard recently confirmed that Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. is no longer on the table when it comes to returning to the role of Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <clears throat> Broussard recently sp spoke with Gizmodo and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and Marvel Studios' plans for their god-awful Phase 5. He revealed Robert Downey Jr. was out when asked about the Phase 4 entries would tie into Marvel's plans for Phase 5. Broussard, well, I think it's one of the meta-narratives of Phase 4 was about new characters. It was about new people stepping into mantles. Yeah. And um, if you look at, like, Cassie Lang getting a suit in Kate Bishop and Hawkeye, new characters being introduced in Jack and Werewolf by Night, he explained. Broussard then revealed, after these first ten years of Marvel storytelling, torches are being passed, like with Robert Downey Jr. no longer being on the table, and stuff like that. So it was kind of like a new generation stepping to the forefront, which, again, has always happened in the comics. He went on, some of those themes are on full display in the thematics of this movie, like, what is the responsibility of the last generation? So I think Phase 4 was about introducing all these amazing characters and getting the chance to tell these stories. Now that those players are on the board and there's a big bad coming, it's about, like, what are they going to do with that? And what are they going to do with this power? Because as you know, perhaps you've heard, with great power, he concluded. Downey Jr. previously discussed a potential return to Iron Man at the Marvel Comics Cinematic Universe in an interview with GQ back in April 2021. Downey said, I have alighted, for now, real world to save, but never say never. Actors like Hugh Jackman have returned to their roles after being emphatic that they would not. Jackman made it clear he was done with Wolverine a number of times in 2021. He said, I realized before we shot Logan, I was like, we got the idea. We knew it was going to uh, be-ish, right? And I thought, this is it. And that really helped me. It really helped knowing I was going into my last season that it was my last season, that I made the most of it, he continued. He concluded, and it's all still a character I chose or I hold close to my heart, but I know it's done. Tell that to whoever you want, but please tell it to Ryan Reynolds because he don't or he doesn't believe it. He thinks I'm joking, please. And now we learn he's coming back for one more role. Despite indicating he was done with the character and the role, Jackman is returning to the Wolverine alongside Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool and Deadpool 3. Jackman confirmed his return during an announcement in the film for the film shared to Ryan Reynolds' social media. Ryan Reynolds began the video saying, I had to really search my soul for this one. His first appearance in the MCU obviously needs to feel special. We need to stay true to the character, find new depth and motivation, new meaning. Every Deadpool needs to stand out and stand apart. It's been an incredible challenge that has forced me to reach down deep inside and I have nothing. Just completely empty up here and terrifying. But we have one, or but we did have one idea. Jackman then walks behind him and Reynolds asks, Hey Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? <laughs> Jackman replies, yeah, sure, Ryan. It's then revealed the film will arrive in theaters September 6th, 2024. So while Broussard might be saying 
Downey Jr. is out now, there is still the possibility that he could return to the role sometime in the future. What do you make of Broussard, Broussard's comments? Well, I think that Broussard is telling the truth. They're not going to hire Robert Downey Jr. back. One, he's too big of an actor and Disney is suffering financially. They're losing money each year because of their continued peddling of child sexualizing identity politics. Not to mention, Robert Downey Jr. is more right leaning than he is left leaning. He's kind of, or he straddles both sides, but he leans more to the right. Guess what is taboo in Disney, folks? Right leaning conservatives. They don't like Robert Downey Jr. or his political outlook. He has supported Republicans in the past. And he stands, or he has donated to Republican uh, caucuses and campaigns. So, yeah, that's a big no no when it comes to uh, Disney and Marvel and them. They, they want activists, they don't want, uh, they don't want good actors. So, there's, in my opinion, no chance that Robert Downey Jr. is ever going to come back. He may come back for a stint or a stand-in or something, but he will not be coming back to get paid for a major production. Those are my thoughts, and I'm, I've been saying it since his character died. They're not going to bring him back. They're not, because he, go, or he leans right, and Marvel doesn't like that. Anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of today's, or of this uh, video? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know all your thoughts. Do you think he's coming back? Let me know. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, folks. Have a wonderful day. Stay humble.